What's up, guys? My name is Fnatica17, back with my second video today. Um, I'll be making a third one. My first video today was on the Funtime Foxy articulated action figure, which is over there, but I don't want to pick it up because it's hard to make it stand in the pose I gave her. But there you can see. Hey! So, um, yeah, so here's my second video today. And it is the Flocked Springtrap Pop figure, which is only at GameStop. And if you compare it to the other Springtrap figure, you can see that he actually is quite fuzzy. So let's unbox him, shall we? I've always loved how easy Pop figures are to open. There we go. Ooh, he didn't fall out. Screw it. <laughs> So here we go, here is the, um, one second, I'll like pick this plastic up. So here is the, um, flocked spring trap. Now, as you can see, he actually is really fuzzy around the sides. Um, if I take out my normal spring trap here, open, there we go. You can see how fuzzy this one that actually is compared to him. You can see the like difference here. You can't see them properly. It's kind of weird, but there's the um. You can see the difference. He's more fluffy and he isn't. I, now I actually only have one other um. Uh, I don't want to get him because he's like on the bottom of my tower of pops, but um I took spring trap off because he wasn't that far. But down at the bottom there, you can see Doug. If you look inside the box, you can see he's, like, flocked. And, um, so, yeah, now I have two flocked figures. Um, so, yeah. There we go. There is spring trap. And as I said, when we compare him to the normal spring trap, um, he's not quite as fluffy as, um, the spring trap plush, though. Like, I don't know. He could be compared to the spring trap plush. Jeez, the plush is really big. Like he could be compared to it. I mean he could, but I'm not sure. Now I have to put the, all this back. Now I don't have the spring trap action figure because I never got all the characters from the first series. Um, I never got a hold of Golden Freddy. So. Yeah, I don't have him. Um, everything else is kind of normal, except for his skin. His teeth are kind of rough, though. On the normal string trap, they're kind of like this normal plastic, but his teeth are, like, really rough. It almost makes him sharp. It's kind of weird. So, um, yeah, I think that what they should really do is make a chase version of spring trap. And, um, it has, like, uh, what's his name? Was it Michael Afton who got stuck in the suit? Was it Michael? Y yeah, it was Michael who got stuck in the suit. So that'd be really cool if they made a chase where, like, the spring trap's, like, mouth is open. And you can just see, like, a human pop in there and it's, like, bleeding out. That'd be cool. <sighs> I sound like a maniac when I say that. But that's the story of Five Nights at Freddy's. <coughs> that's the storyline. Mm. So. Oh, we. I just recently got into Rick and Morty. I got into it by watching the episode Pickle Rick. I got into a show by an episode of a pickle. But um, I recently got into Rick and Morty. It's a good show. So I'll be doing some stuff on Rick and Morty if I can find like... I know Funko does Rick and Morty stuff. So I'll probably be doing stuff on Rick and Morty now. So yay, new content. What if I played Pocket Mortys? What if I played Pocket Mortys? Um, I've heard of that, but I haven't really played it. So um, yeah... Like I've said, compared to this figure, we can see how fluffy he really is. You'd really have to be feeling him, like, as I'm doing this. It's kind of weird, but the tips of his wires are, like, really, like, sharp-ish for some reason. They made, like, they tried to make some of his wires fluffy, but definitely not all of them. His feet aren't flocked, but I imagine that'd be kind of a bit hard to do. Um, his head doesn't like to turn, but it's probably just because there's the fluff. It's like kind of blocking the spinning. Yeah, I just spun his head all the way around. And a chunk of 
fluff okay. fell off. So, um, yeah. He's slightly darker because he's flocked, but, um, yeah. That's, um, all I can really say about this figure. Um, I'll leave the link down to where I first reviewed Springtrap. That was a long time ago. That was when I filmed back up up there on my bunk bed. But, um, I need to clean out this area because it's just a mess, guys. Um, you all have probably seen up here before. If you've watched my older videos, up here is just a mess up here. So, um, yeah, I'll be working on cleaning up here so that I can maybe start filming up here again. Jeez, you can see everything. Uh, okay. So, my friend just messaged me on Amino. So, hi, Lauren. How are you? <laughs> um, as I was filming this, like, if I'm taking a while. Hi, Lauren. I, I was filming when you said you're bored and you're at church. So, hi, Lauren. How's your day been going? <laughs> She watches my video. Sorry about that. <laughs> you can still hear it, though. Um, so, yeah, anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end that video here. And um, I'll actually be nice, Lauren. I'll be nice, Lauren. I'll, I'll leave the link to your channel down in the description so that people can go subscribe to you because you're cool. <laughs> So, nice. So, anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Hope you have a good day. And stay fluffy, spring trapped. I don't know why they did this with the FNAF characters. Because when I think FNAF, I don't see fluffy and cute. I think evil and menacing. By the way, if you're still watching this, um, a little sneak peek of what else I'm doing today is I already did the action figure. And here is the Funko... F Fun time Freddy plushie. I'll be doing him as well. So anyway guys, hope you all enjoyed. Hope you have a good day. And stay hydrated.